In this role play, we will demonstrate the practice of existential counseling. The therapist, my colleague Siebrecht van Horen, presents two parts from the third therapy session with the client whose pseudonym is Sophie. Sophie had been suffering from depression and an obsessive compulsive disorder for 10 years. She never took holidays, she didn't enjoy life at all. Sophie lived with her boyfriend, but they had no real sexual relationship. In the case study, later in this section, you can read more about Sophie. Let's have a look now at the third session, where the therapist interrupts Sophie because he has the feeling that she doesn't see or hear him. Sophie, can I say something? Mm. You know, sometimes sure. when I try to say something towards you, I have the feeling that you don't hear me. You know, when I arrived at work this morning, there was this colleague of mine, she was talking all right. the time about wait, this wait, new wait. week she had. And this is exactly what I mean. It's like you're, you're, you don't hear my message, you're pushing it aside, you're keeping <sighs> me outside, I don't know. I know. Uh -huh. I do this all the time with everyone. Oh, not just here. Yeah. Sometimes even quite literally, I keep people outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend, for example, in the evening, uh, I start a fight. I shout at him so, just to get rid of him, just so that he won't touch me later on in the bedroom. I don't like to be touched. You don't want to be touched? No. You know, I have the feeling that something similar is happening here, as if you don't want to be touched by me, although in a very different oh, way. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I feel a lot of pain when you're talking. When you talk about your work or how hard you have to clean your house all the time. And when I try to communicate something about it, it seems, I don't know, like you don't want to hear it or... I don't want to hear it. I don't want to feel it. You don't want to feel it. No, I don't want to feel. In general, mm -hmm. I constantly suppress things. You suppress things. Mm. You don't want to feel it. And silence. I hate silence. You know, I'm afraid something terrible could happen. As if something terrible could happen. Yeah, I don't know what could happen, but that's the feeling. Uh -huh. Could we take some time for this? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you say something terrible could happen. You know, if you would start to feel things when there is silence around you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why at home I leave the radio on all the time, or the television running all the time. Uh huh. What else do you do in order not to hear the silence or to? Uh, feel? I talk constantly, always working, always busy, busy, busy. I never take a break. Um, so just so I don't have to feel or think. So you don't have to feel everything. Yeah, and that's also the reason why I never take a vacation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit puzzled, you know. How do you do that in therapy then? Oh, that's easy. I prepare every session. I plan it before and I know exactly what I'm going to say when I'm here. You, you plan it? Yeah. So every word? Yeah, nearly. Uh -huh. So how does that work with a therapist who interrupts you all the time? <laughs> Must be hard. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sometimes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, when you say something terrible would happen, I just wonder, do you feel anything in your body? Do you sense anything? In my body? Yeah, it sounds a little bit strange, but the idea that something terrible would happen, I just wonder, like, do you sense anything or... Take your time. I feel something here. Mm -hmm. Something over here. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a pressure on my heart. Okay. Something like a pressure on your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay with it. It's pushing. It's like it's pushing. Okay. Yeah. And it, it hurts. Okay, something is pushing there, it hurts. Mm -hmm. 
What's happening now? Uh, sadness. There's a lot of sadness. Mm -hmm. There is sadness there. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel it. Oh, what? You don't want to feel it. Something is pushing there, it hurts. There's sadness. And there is something that doesn't want to feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to feel it. You don't want to feel it. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. Is it enough for now? Yeah. Okay.